Hey, what it do? This is Ace here. I'm going to be doing a chicken, fried chicken mukbang with some sweet and sour sauce. I'm, I'm just trying, and I have an egg roll here too. I'm just going to see how this chicken tastes with this sweet and sour sauce. Okay, we're about to get started. See what all the hype's about. How everybody day been? Mine's been kind of good. I've been stuck in the traffic a little bit. Okay. I ain't dipped it yet, but I will in a minute. Yeah, I hear my alarm thing going off too. I think I need a battery in there. Mmm, it's good. Okay. Okay. Everybody looking good? I'm ready for it to be over. So a new year can come in. It's pretty good. I like it. I'm test it with a, a egg roll. <laughs> so what are we going to talk about today uh, I grew up in the country like there wasn't nothing but dirt and rocks and things like that we didn't really have toys the dirt, some the dirt and rocks was our toys. Oh, it's fine. We make mud pies and throw rocks and act like we was eating mud. <laughs> it was crazy. Growing up, me and my cousin used to play. Me and my cousin used to play with rocks and mud. Straight entertainment. And I remember times where it used to be so hot outside, and we were um try to go in the house and my aunt would be like uh-uh y'all gotta stay outside you ain't coming up in here and we used to have to drink water out the faucet uh, outside the house that was that good water back then wasn't no chemicals or nothing in it it's straight the water the good the good water without the chemicals nowadays you you get a cup of water out the faucet you see stuff floating in it mm. I don't know. I just wish it was back in the day when gas only used to be 98 cents. <laughs> I remember we used to pull up to a gas station and my aunt be like, give me $2 worth of gas. <laughs> oh, God. That was a good old day. <laughs> Milk used to be what? Not eating that much. Might be a dollar, might be just 50 cents. I don't remember the milk, but I do remember the gas, how cheap the gas was. And my aunt, she had like an old station wagon. <laughs> she was like, give me two dollars worth of gas. And we can ride on that gas all week. No worries. And I remember. When I was growing up, this is really good. I remember one time growing up, we had like a lot of, we had a lot of land, and this woman. She had knew my aunt, and she would ask us, "Will we take care of her horses for like a couple of months?" And she'd pay us. And she said she would give us like ten dollars a week, 
like for me and my cousin that was a lot of money for us like we were young like that was like in the 90s 90s it could have been like the 80s or the 90s not quite sure i was young but she was like i'll pay y'all ten dollars a week if y'all take care of my horses that was like the best thing to do like as a kid take care of a horse even though it was bigger than you it's like you could talk to them and um, they will understand what you were saying it was really sweet like you can uh brush their hair and stuff i really like doing that and then whenever they would come and check on their horses they would let us ride them it was so fun i was scared though when it was time to throw hay, throw hay to them, oh, I was scared. All these animals, they understand. It's so weird. I wonder if my cousins remember that. They probably do. And I remember, I know Spade ain't gonna eat it because he don't like chicken on the bone. So weird. Pretty good. Would I do it again? Yes. I don't like the veins and stuff. Clean that out. So ready for the new year and a, and a new beginning. And a lot of changes. I know I've been off of it, but you get one of these. It's crispy. Seems like that little noise is making getting louder and louder. I didn't never hear it before. don't like the um I don't like the legs really too much I like the flats I think the legs is too big yeah I'm not gonna eat those no, I'll stick with the flats You know, before I got married, I wish people would have told me, like, I don't know, you know, you be with somebody for so long, you never knew you could love somebody so much, you know, like when y'all boyfriend and girlfriend, like you care, but you don't care, like, like that, you know what I'm saying? But whenever you get married, it's like it's a different kind of love. I think as soon as I said I do, it was it was different. When whenever we was um, boyfriend and girlfriend, I didn't care if he ate. <laughs> I didn't care if he had dirty clothes, even though we was together for so long. And once we got married, I felt like it was my right. I had to do it because I was his wife. You hear what I'm saying? It's weird. And now I'm his wife. I feel like, oh, he can't have dirty clothes. I got to wash his clothes. I got to make sure he has something to eat. I got to make sure he takes his medicine. I'm just trying 
<clears throat> he thinks it's not no different. All right. He says it's no different from being boyfriend and girlfriend, but it is a big difference. You see, like, a woman mind be going every which way, and a man mind just goes straight. Like, they only thinking for that moment. And the women, we don't, we thinking to next week, or a month, two months, a year. <laughs> this so weird, like, me and a wife is a, a lot of responsibility. Hell, even being a girlfriend was a lot of responsibility, but it's gotten even worse now. Being a wife, like, I don't know. I just wish before I got married, my aunts, um, my friends would have been like, girl, there's a lot come with that. I probably wouldn't listen to them anyway, because we was together for so long. I was like, I might, we might as well get married. And a lot of people like, it ain't no different. Yes, it is. <laughs> and if they tell you it ain't, they lying. Well, this is soft. I wish I got some uh, egg rolls. Egg rolls was good. I think I'm about done. What I need, like five pieces? I can't eat, eat all this. Oh, another thing I did learn when we got married is we went to counseling. You learn a lot in counseling. Let, let, no, let nobody tell you, oh, you don't need to go to counseling. It'll be all right. That's a lie. Go to counseling. Like, even if y'all been together for so long, you learn stuff about him that you didn't even know about when you go to counseling. So it's a good thing. It'll let you know, like, do you really want to do this? Before you put all that money into planning? Yeah. A lot of people, they don't last. Like, it's just sad to see other couples don't make it. Like, you thought they were so in love. And then when they go to that counseling, they be like, how they really are or they really express themselves. They be like, no, I don't want to do this. I'm glad I didn't feel that way about Marco. Well, Spade. A lot of nosy girl on my nerves, so. though. I probably, I know I get on his. He talking to me, that's why I'm moving over there and way up, shaking my head. No. He's still talking to me while I'm <laughs> filming, so he don't want to be on here because, like I said before, he don't eat chicken on the bone. This is really good, y'all. I think my next mukbang is going to be, I got some macaroons, macaroon something. And I'm going to wait till my daughter come so she can try it with me. Because I know Spade ain't going to eat it. Well, guys, I'm almost full. I if y'all like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification button at the bottom when I upload a new video. Thank you. Peace.